All right, welcome back to our live YouTube Senior Bowl videos sponsored by Roster Watch. Right now we're joined by one of the top performers in many people's eyes this week, Karan Reed. He's a defensive lineman, defensive tackle from Princeton University. Not too many guys from Princeton get to come down to the Senior Bowl, so Karan, let's just start off by you giving your thoughts on the week and what it meant to be invited to such a prestigious game. Well, when I got the invite, it was a huge honor. Um, I'm just the second person in my school's history to be able to come here. Um, so it's big for uh, my university, big for our football program, just to um, be able to bring uh, more excellence to the game. Uh, so it's, it's a huge opportunity. I'm uh, very humbled and, and thankful um, to have received uh, thanks to Phil Savage and everyone who gave me that opportunity. Um, and this week has just <laughs> been amazing so far, and I wait uh, the great results. So for people that haven't watched you play, why don't you describe yourself as a football player to people that haven't seen you play? Because you haven't been you know, on national TV like a lot of these guys have every week, but you're still down here competing with the best of the best and will probably be drafted ahead of a lot of these guys. So, um, yeah, uh, I would say I'm an exciting player to watch. Uh, <laughs> I like to have a lot of fun on the field. Um, I love to have fun competing. Um, I'll be, if you watch any prison film, uh, I'll be that big guy in the middle, uh, number 11. Uh, just having fun, um, enjoying his teammates making plays, and and trying the best to be great. Now, has football always been something that you wanted to do, or did you go to Princeton with hopes of um, getting your degree and doing something after football, and this football thing has just developed along the way? Has football always been a dream for you? And if football doesn't work out, what do you hope to do outside of football? Say, football has always been a dream for me. Um, something I've dreamed of even before I started playing the game. When I saw it on TV, I wanted to be one of those guys. Uh, I had a, in order to play football in high school, one of the conditions where my mom made me promise that I would have to keep up my grades, both parents really, I had to keep up my grades and luckily I did that successfully and Princeton came on. Um, so Princeton was just a great opportunity not only to pursue um, my, my athletic goals, but also my academic goals. And it really uh, drove me to be competitive, not only in the field, uh, but also in the classroom, so it was great. Can you just talk a little bit about um, the scheme fits that you play and what type of scheme in the NFL you feel like you best fit for or what type of scheme people are telling you uh, they like you in? Well, I haven't really heard uh, much about um, I've been approached by teams mm -hmm. with various uh, numbers of schemes. Mm -hmm. um, so in in the college days in Princeton, I, I played both 3-4 uh, and 4-3, all pretty much around the line. So there have been, there's pretty much anywhere that I can play and I'm, I'm willing to do anything pretty much. Over the last three seasons, I believe you had 20, 20 and a half sacks. What do you feel like your favorite pass rush move is to go to, or what's the one that uh, you win most with? <laughs> I would say probably a head fake. Um, I like to do a little shake and bake every now and then, uh, get the old lineman guessing. Um, so I, I, I revert back to that and, and just do that, and it opens up uh, avenues for me to go through and uh, sack the quarterback. And one of the things I've noticed most about watching you in bag drills, and we all have really, is your violent hands that you go through those drills with and the intensity you come with. Just talk a little bit about how important the hand use is for an interior defensive lineman like yourself. Yeah, you can't really do anything without uh, active hands, violent hands, having good leverage. Um, that's what the game's all about, especially in the trenches. Oh, I'm not trying to get their hands on you. They're trying to hold you. They're trying to grab you. And you have to do whatever um, is best in your power to um, let them go. So every time I go through the bags, I'm just visualizing myself um, pretty much knocking the hands, knocking the, the, the arms of offensive linemen off me. And <laughs> the more violent I get is the more I, I, I feel about it. Who's your favorite player to watch growing up? And who's your favorite player to watch now on Sundays? I would say I always idolized um, Bo Jackson when I was a little boy. Uh, really in the first couple years of life, I called myself Karan Bo Jackson Lion uh, after him just because he was a dynamic running back uh, and just athlete overall. Um, and I love Reggie White. He was a great man of faith, and that's something I modeled myself after me and also a great football player. But now, um, as a pass rusher and just an overall disruptive and productive player, the player I most model myself after and try to be like it would be Geno Atkins. He's dynamic and <laughs> in all aspects pretty much of his game. And then once this week's over, what do you hope to have accomplished to prove to yourself or other people that are watching this game? I would say I, I knew I belonged coming into this week. Um, it's something I, I've, I've prepared for for my whole life, and I've been training with guys down at IG Academy in Florida, so there was no doubt that I belonged here. Um, it was just really just putting on film um, that I can compete at this level, and I aim to get better and just getting better throughout the week and being coachable. 
um, was one of my big points that I wanted to get across. And then finally, I'm sure you're going to get asked this a lot since you went to an Ivy League school. What is your major, and why did you pick that major? Um, I picked sociology. Uh, sociology gave me the freedom to pretty much explore any discipline. Um, so there was nothing I couldn't do with sociology. Um, and it was, it was a major that allowed me to read more than uh, do math problems. So that was a plus for me. And it just allowed me to open my eyes and uh, view the world differently. All right. I just want to thank Karan for stopping by. And if you don't know who he is, I'm sure if you follow the NFL draft process, you're going to know who he is pretty quickly because he's definitely rising off the draft boards with impressive performances here at the Reese Senior Bowl. Thanks for stopping by and good luck through this whole draft process. We're, we will be rooting for you, definitely. All right. Thank you.